How old was Jake the first time he shot a gun? Six years old. I figured that we were gonna be put with a family that was opposite, but I think I grossly underestimated just how different a family could be from mine. <sighs> guns and guns hanging on the wall. I think maybe they're homeschoolers. Oh. They have a picture of a man with a sombrero in handcuffs. I mean, this is like polar opposite of us. I thought it was sweet how welcoming Sally was. Hey, how are you? Welcome, welcome to my house. Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming. Saluda, dile hola, dale un abrazo. Hi. Oh, dale un abrazo. Thank you. Say hello, <laughs> mira. So today was the first day that the swap was here. It was very interesting. I voted for Trump because of the economy. Man, you gotta be okay with racism. But the economy, he hates women. But the economy, you have a daughter, he's gonna grab her, you better look out. I am a Trump supporter. These white women are still voting for men that still believe that that's their place. That they come second to men. Kind of felt like I was thrown into a lion's den. She hasn't come out and called us racist. She's made a couple insinuations. Uh, but never straight up come out and said it. There was a picture on the table of somebody dressed up with a sombrero in <laughs> handcuffs. I got you. And I think you were dressed up as Donald Trump. Possibly. I was, yes. That was really offensive for me to see. I can read people pretty well. And uh, what I'm reading is she's into pushing her ideals on us a lot more than trying to learn from us. I promised that I would try things once, so I have agreed to go to a gun range. So to give you a little story, my father, uh, first gun I shot, I was five years old. I actually shot 38, like what my son is shooting now. There you go. I don't think that uh, anything is going to change his love for his guns and the Second Amendment. Um, so no, I, I don't think that's going to change at all hearing my point of view. Today we implemented my rules. We will not talk politics at all. I think too often we let politics get in the way. I would have never had someone who voted for Trump in my house before this swap. Mmm, wow. I understand that it made her feel uncomfortable, but those are conversations that need to be had. New rule, homeschooling about what else makes America great? So we'll see how he takes that. I think it's going to be a little bit more intense than he's used to with his homeschooling, so we'll see. She kind of presented it like I wouldn't know. Uh, and even though I have traveled uh, outside of the country and been to a lot of foreign countries, you know, I've been to Mexico, I've been to Puerto Rico, I've been to uh, Hispanic countries. Mexican Americans often serve as high government officials as well as local mayors, sheriffs, and school board members. They're not Mexican Americans, they're Americans. Mm -hmm. You're right, they're just of Mexican descent. That's why they call them Mexican Americans. Yep. We flip want... that in our house. American Americans Mexican. of Mexican descent. I felt like I got a lot of pushback from both of them and I did not feel very successful in that. I'm interested to see how the interaction between the two guys goes. Hopefully it can be more of a meeting of minds than, you know, telenovela or World War III. You don't understand how much immigrants actually help America. To be perfectly honest, white folks, we don't even think about it. You think that you live a certain way and that society has come to a level of understanding or a level of being that is, um, a lot more inclusive and forgiving um, than it really is. And it's kind of scary when it's thrown in your face.